Quen. It's a bad idea. Words escape me. Someone tell me what I'm seeing. We heard strange noises in the chasm. Stone grinding against stone. Quen, well... I found this invisible bridge! So you followed my advice and put <laughs> yourself into the chasm. The ashes. Spread them on the bridge to see where it leads. And Quen, get back from there. No. Just through this crypt. We Do made it. crypts come with whatever that is? Every tomb needs a guardian. And old Yokudin saying, wasn't it? Your introduction is formless and without grace. Recite Denobia's maxim. That's alarming. Felsa, Quen, walk softly. Stay back. If it's hot, we'll handle it. Recite Denobia's maxim, or you shall be deemed trespassers. It must be some kind of passphrase. If you have any ideas, now's the time to call them out. You can't seriously expect us to. Falora! Yakuda! Passphrase! Uh, uh, Gaiden Shinji! Idiots. Vels, you aren't even trying. Trespasser! Denobia's justice falls upon you! <laughs> Let's see what's in the treasure vaults. Hmm, let me see that. Nicholas used half maps like this. Thin overlays placed atop existing maps. You line them up with common points of reference. Page. Is it from the journal Nicholas kept? Tuwaka watches over you. The passphrase for the Crypt Guardian? I nearly had it. What's wrong with that skeleton? Missing its head. It looks like it was hacked off. Must have been done by whoever stole the dowry. But why desecrate a skeleton? Nicholas survived somehow. He came here and took Magnifica Falora's dowry for himself. I don't want to believe it, but that's how it seems. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something? This is his handwriting. But it could have been taken from his journal by someone else. The skeleton must be Denobia herself. This is her tomb, after all. I don't see what it has to do with Nicholas, missing skull or not. Hmm. Three points on this sheet. Nicholas always used Abaz Landing and Noshira Citadel as a reference. If I line up those two points... Well now, the third point is in Hughes Bane, out in the middle of nowhere. 
trash he left behind? Three dots on a page are meaningless unless you know the trick. The only people who did were dead on Maluk's path. Head to Hughes Bane. If Nicholas does have a hideout in the desert, it's time we crack it open. Papers. Signed by Kosh? What are those doing here? Ancient Yakutan coins, stamped with the likeness of Denobia. Those must be from the dowry. Nicholas had a disguise kit just like this one. In fact, this is his disguise kit. Look closely. There's a hollow crystal with... Is that blood inside? Whose blood? I know how Nicholas survived Maluk's path. The crystal must contain Aldenobia blood. Maluk's path would ignore you if you held it. You'd need a lamp to find your way through the darkness so you could grab a handful of ashes. From there, all you'd need is the Crypt Guardian's passphrase. I've seen enough. Nicholas faked his death and stole the dowry. Now he's working with that merchant lord, Kosh. To think I mourned that bastard. Nicholas would have kept such a thing from the guild. The less they know, the less trouble they'll cause. But I'm going to tell the Thieves' Guild. I want them to cause a world of trouble, and I want to lay it all on his doorstep. Let's go.
I told the guild about Nicholas betraying us. Walk softly took it in stride. Quen gave me a hug, and Elsa walked off without a word. All in all, better than expected. The Iron Wheel is a hurricane that blew into port and smashed everything in its path. Nicholas and Kosh are the ones who set it in motion. Now, we learn what they hold most dear. Then, we take it from them. Nicholas taught me how to be a thief. I knew him for over a decade. Trusted him. Not much else to say, is there? What about? Velsa was right, and I don't say that lightly. I am responsible. Edda and Dalder died because of my mistake. Nicholas. I can only pray his death is far worse than what happened to the others. No. He seemed a bit distant before we first went to Aldenobia tomb, but it was also the biggest heist we'd ever pulled off. Nothing prepared me for this. <laughs>